Welcome back to the Championship correspondent Pascal Amir to preview the final game of the season for Bolton and Birmingham. Pascal, I'll start with your wayside, picked up back to back wins, decent form at the moment. Yeah, they are. I think you have to look at the whole job that Gary Rowett, now we're going into the final day of the season, you can sort of reflect on the whole season and what Gary Rowett's done since he came in. It's been fantastic. They're 11th in the table now, you know, with a chance. They're 11 points with Charlton in 10th. They beat last time 1 0. Reading, they beat the team they beat before that. But if they, if they can finish in 10th place, which is very possible if they better Charlton's result this weekend, that, that would just be a, a Amazing finish from where they were, you know, under Lee Clark, really struggling, you know, lost 8 0 to Bournemouth, you know, back in, I think it was October. Just really, really struggling, looking like a real relegation candidate, but he's now taken them, made them into a top half team. You know, if they lose this game, they, they, they could drop as low as 14th because there's a few sides really bunched in in sort of that mid table area. But if they can get into 10th place and a top 10 finish, that would be fantastic. And you have to say that Gary Rowett, the job he's done, he certainly should be one of the contenders for manager of the season. I don't think he'll get it. I think Eddie Howe is the clear uh, manager of the season. But in terms of if you were looking at sort of maybe the top three managers, I think Gary Rowe could certainly get in there. The job he's done since coming in, absolutely fantastic considering where they were last season. You know, last season they stayed up on the final day. It was an incredible day. It was against Bolton at the, the Macron Stadium. Incidentally, it's, just, it's exactly the same final day fixture as there was last season. Nowhere near as much riding on it this year as there was last year. But last season they finished... 44 points in 21st you know they're much better than that this season 10 points better off as it stands and it'd be interesting to see sort of what happens this summer because Rauer you know he's only had one transfer window to work with you know he certainly hasn't he came in mid-season so he's this I think this off-season is going to be big for him sort of implementing what he wants to do he's certainly have more time with the team you know without him games coming thick and fast so it'd be interesting to see what happens he's already admitted you know he's not sure who's going to lose this summer Darren Randolph the goalkeeper he could be off and then there's the incident with uh, well, the sort of all the speculation linking to Damari Gray, the sort of 18 year old winger who's been impressive this season. He's only started, I think it's 26 or 27 games. He's hardly been, you know, a, a focal point of the team. He's got six goals, but he's, he's just had the odd moment where he looks like a real star player. The hat trick uh, earlier on in the season was the, the one incident, especially. So if he, if someone comes in with, say, a bit of about six million for him, you know, they turned down five million from Bournemouth in January. Um, it'd be, they could, obviously a club's going to need to pay more than that to get in but if he goes then that's obviously losing one of their brightest sparks but it's interesting to see who Raul goes after this time because the job he's done with what's a pretty limited squad has been very impressive so certainly a huge you know, boost in form for them but you'd wonder if they'd be able to push much higher than the top 10 because you look at other clubs that will be coming down other clubs in the league who don't go up certainly have more spending power but the job he's done overall fantastic we went to Bolton sitting 18th in the table and lost to Bournemouth the other night which all but secured their place in the Premier League yeah I think Bolton on the whole for them it's been a very disappointing season you look where they were last season they had 59 points in 14th last season you know Neil Lennon since come in this campaign he had a good start but since petered off quite a lot he's, he's been a little bit unlucky with injuries here and there you know losing some key players but the best they can do this season if results go their way and they get a win here is 16th with 54 points so you know, they're, they're, even if they win on Saturday, they'll still be five points behind where they were last season. So a step back this season. And, and Lennon, he's like Rowett, come in, you know, a manager, mid-season change. And he sort of had a, a real big short-term impact. He came in, got a few wins, but he hasn't quite had the same long-term impact that Rowett had. You know, Rowett's really taken Birmingham into the top half. And Lennon hasn't quite done the same. They're down in 18th. And after the Bournemouth game, that was always going to be so difficult for them going to Bournemouth. They already knew they're safe. And Bournemouth, they, you know, given the results that happened on Saturday, it was a Monday night game. Bournemouth, they packed out, you know, the goals down saying they knew if they win that day, they're not confirmed as promoted, but they are, you know, effectively in the Premier League. And it was always going to be a difficult game. Bolton, first 25 minutes or so, they, they competed in that game. They had a couple of chances. There was one for Lafonda, especially, which player of his sort of calibre as a poacher, you know, you really expected him to put it away, but couldn't do so. And then once Bournemouth got that first goal, it, it began to turn into a bit of a, you know, a complete domination from the home side. They had a penalty that was missed as well, uh, Bournemouth. So, yeah, 3 0 was sort of fully justified for Bournemouth in the end. But there's one win in eight now for Bolton. They're not exactly finishing the season very well. You know, you look at how Birmingham are doing, they're finishing the season quite nicely, but Bolton aren't. And Lennon said after that game on Monday that what Bournemouth are doing, that's what we want to do. We want to emulate that, the style of football they play. But certainly uh, they're a long way from doing that as it, as it stands. Like you mentioned, Birmingham in good form. Can you, you back them to get another win here? I think, you know, I look back at the fixture last season when these two played, it was 2-2, the famous late goal from Paul Caddis, Ziggish on the score sheet that day as well, and I'm back at the same scoreline here. I think neither side's got much to play for, and I think, you know, it'll be one of those sort of relaxed games, both sort of sides going for a lot of goals, and I think they're going to share the points 2-2. Also going for a 2-2 draw. 